Hey y'all, welcome back to Biz Vibe. I'm Vivian Camille, and today we are talking about the La Sportiva Bushido 2. People ask me all the time, what shoe would you recommend for trail running? And this is probably one of my favorites ever. As you can tell, I have a lot of shoes, but these guys are the very first shoe I ever had trail running and I love them especially for trail running here in the Arizona desert so the reason I would recommend this as a first trail running trainer shoe is because the traction the stability and the weight of this shoe these outsole lugs wrap around so if you're doing any weird off camber trails these provide additional traction and stability. So yeah, La Sportiva has created the Friction XT Compound something or other, which is a dual compound something. Basically what that means is this thing is going to stick to the rocks that you're running, whether they're wet, dry, whatever. These are great shoes for mountain running. This is what they are designed for. Use them for mountain running and you will not be disappointed. These are shorter distance, more technical mountain running shoes. Yes, I ran 100k in these. I also ran a very technical 50k in these. And I just thought that my feet were going to hurt no matter what in 100k. Well, they're actually not supposed to. And this was the problem. Once you get past, I'd say, yeah, 20 miles, stop running in these shoes. My feet were on fire for the Bender 100K the first time I did it. And when I did the Franklin Mountains, I also wore these shoes and my feet halfway through were so, so sore. That's just an added pain that you don't need. So find a different shoe if you're doing anything more than say a marathon trail run. When I wore the Hoka's for this year's Bandera 100K, it was life changing. So find the right shoe. But if you're just starting out and you're wanting a good trainer, I still love these. I still wear these for my daily six to eight mile runs. The reason I say they're great training shoes is because they are a bit more minimal in this forefront area. I like that because I'm able to feel the rocks a bit more and improve on my technical running skills. When I can feel the ground under me, it's it's a lot easier to make those small adjustments. This shoe does have a rock plate in it, which is essential when you're out here in Southern Arizona. There are tons of rocks out there on every trail. There's no avoiding them. And if you don't have a rock plate, your feet will get bruised. They do have a great rubber guard in the front. So again, for rocks and keeping your feet protected, these are great shoes. I always paint my first pair and these guys are painted, so these will be retired here pretty soon. The lugs are starting to get smaller and smaller and become flat, which isn't as helpful. They still work, but it's not as helpful as these newer shoes that I got more recently. And these, you can see the lugs are a lot more accentuated and these have a lot less wear and tear. These have a proper amount of miles, so I think we're nearing two, probably three to 500 miles. I'll check my Strava on that. But there's a little bit of tearing up here in this mesh, but it's just more ventilation, right? <laughs> this right here is a used shoe. Um, this is the La Sportiva Bushido, the very first one, and I just want to show y'all real quick the wear and tear that I got on this shoe after way too many miles. This was when I first started trail running, and so I didn't know what I was looking for in a shoe. I didn't know how long. I didn't. I didn't know anything. But I just wanted to point these things out. As you can see, there's quite a bit of fraying here, and this is all peeling off. If you look at the shoe tread, that is dang near flat now. And over here, I've got quite a bit of tearing going on at this upper section. But I just want to show you what a, what a lot of wear and tear will get you with this shoe. This shoe has held up really well. 
These shoes do have a smaller fit. I wear a seven and a half, and in the La Sportivas, that's a 39 for the European sizing, or you can do a seven and a half plus. I recommend that plus because you need that extra room for your toes. The toe box is a bit smaller and narrower. That's how European shoes usually work. They're not as spacious as say a Hoka or a Nike shoe. I have a narrower foot, so these, these shoes work great for me. Again, if you're not running super long distances, most of the time you don't have to consider your feet swelling. Most of the time, not all the time. So the narrow fit of these shoes shouldn't be an issue if you do like a snugger fit and have a narrow foot. I don't mind these laces, but I don't love them. They're a little short and there's no, there's no give in them. So if you're not careful, you'll make your feet fall asleep because you tie them too tight. Another thing up here, this tongue, as you can see, like I don't even have to show you with it on my foot. It's already off kilter and slanted. If that's an issue for you, these probably aren't the shoes for you because they're gonna continue to do that. They are sewn in, so that's not gonna go completely over, but every run I go on, these shoes always are like this on my foot. So I don't know what, what the deal is with that or why they do that, but every pair that I've had has always done that. The tongue will get all cattywampus. I found out the hard way that the Bushido 2 is not for ultra distances. It is for the shorter, more mountainous, more technical distances and terrain. Once you figure that out, these are a really great training shoe if you're in a place with a lot of rocky or just difficult technical terrain. That is the La Sportiva Bushido 2. La Sportiva is a great company. You can actually send in your old shoes and they will donate them. So that's pretty cool. I like that. I like buying things from good companies. That's all I've got. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like it down below and subscribe to the channel. I post a new video every week. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you next week and happy trails.